I want you to divorce any talk that's not faith talk. You know the other talks, like, like fear talk, which some of you are fluent in. You're so fluent in fear talk that when God blesses you, your automatic reaction is to think and say, what can happen to go wrong? I'm going to take it up one more notch today because I can I can I talk to you like we friends like I have authority in your life and I can say something and you won't be mad at me afterwards because I'm going to tell you the truth even though it stings a little bit can I be real this morning no I'm asking you first because I need permission before I go into what I'm about to do can I be real this morning transformation church okay Today, I want to talk to you about the way that you talk. I'm coming straight for it today. Because the church always talks and communicates and um, has seminars on walking by faith. But most people are deprived of talking by faith. Your talk cancels your walk you will believe on Sunday for something that you will cancel out with your words before you pray at Crackle Barrel it don't even take three hours of you saying God help me to forgive and then somebody frustrates you in the parking lot and you done picked up a whole nother offense wow. and talking about, see, that's why I don't come to church. I don't mess with church people. And, they, and you done done. And you've literally canceled out the walk yeah. with your talk. And one of the things that I am very um, concerned about as we write down our crazy faith and as we believe God and we stand and we give is that many of us are going to literally make all of our faith steps Canceled out with our words of death. Let me say it the way the Bible says it. Idle words. It's not about saying bad things. It's about saying pointless things. It's not just about, well, I didn't cuss. It's, but did you sow division? And you know, you can sow division by somebody saying somebody's name. And you don't even really say a full word. You know, Susan, Mm -hmm. (laughs) that was an idle word that heaven has now recorded and you will have to stand and give account for every, Mm -hmm. because the same faith that you need when you're walking into rooms that you don't even know who's been talking to you about, you reap everything you sow. And there are people that are leading, that are greeting, that are on the worship team, that are um, in the stands, in the the, um, uh, choir stand, doing everything that God says to do. And that gossip is digging a hole. I'm coming for your secret conversations. The ones with trusted friends. Because there's people we feel comfortable telling, and they know our hearts. And we've been through so much together that they know, like, I would never really say that to them. But I'm just venting. Venting is not a spiritual practice. (laughs) Venting is not a, a fruit of the spirit. And some of us are canceling out the very promises of God that we believe for with the words we are saying. Today, I want to engage and empower your faith talk. I want what comes out of your mouth to be speaking good into the present and producing fruit in the future. Now, this is going to change who some of you can hang around. 
Because if you don't get a revelation or a revealed truth of what God is trying to do in your life, you use your words frivolously because you think that they don't matter. Baby, my vocal cords were created for victory. When I talk, things change. Uh oh. We're about to see a delineation right now between the people who have crazy faith and the people who have crazy faith. Let me say it to you like this. It takes crazy faith to write the vision down. It takes crazier faith to say it out loud. And most of you are writing down what you are scared to say. If God called you up right now and said, tell them what I told you. Like you would turn into because you don't actually have the faith. If somebody's crazy, you don't know they actually crazy, like um, actually um, insane or something's not there. You don't know it by just looking at them. The way you can tell somebody is crazy when they start talking. The way the enemy is going to know that you serious about staying pure this time. The way that your family's going to know they can't come to you with the foolishness they used to come to you with. The way that all of heaven and all of hell is going to recognize your faith is not just by what you think. It's by what you say. Everybody say, say it. That means you got to have faith talk. And too many of us, because of our upbringing have learned to have talk that copes with deficiencies around us. And this is where many of you need therapy. You need therapy and theology. I'm going to give you the theology, and then some of y'all need to go see Dr. Shonorskian. Yeah. Because your environment many times to deal with what you didn't like you would use words to be able to create an environment that was okay. Wow. Okay, let me. Wow. So when the family didn't have no money, you would make jokes about it right. using your words. I'm so broke, we can't even pay attention. <laughs> Look at your hair. Look at them edges. They, and we just would go and go and go to try to find hope in a situation that felt hopeless. Wow. Now you have been trained in speech that works against God's promises for your life. I'm just telling you what actually happens. And I'm just talking about one instance. We can bring this to every different facet of your life. But what you say when you're getting pressed exposes what's really in there. You can tell by if somebody slams their hand in the door. <laughs> Boom. Oh. What comes after the O oh is what's really in there. <laughs> Pressure exposes. Because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Everything you've been saying is exposing the crevices of your heart. My question to you, are you talking faith? Because everything God wants to do in your life is going to take the payment of faith. He doesn't need fame. He doesn't need fortune. He doesn't need fans. What God is going to require, whether you are a CEO or you are a single mom trying to raise three boys, is shout at me faith. Faith. And so today, I want you to divorce any talk that's not faith talk. You know the other talks, like, like fear talk, which some of you are fluent in. You're so fluent in fear talk that when God blesses you, your automatic reaction is to think and say, what can happen to go wrong? It's, you're so fluent in it. Hey, I want to give you $100. What's the catch? What do you want from me? Who are you with? What do you? And God's like, I was just trying to bless you. 
But what you've been trained in comes out of your mouth. We got to divorce fear talk. We got to divorce frustration talk. Some of y'all be mad at nothing. Why they get to go first going down the line at Thanksgiving? Look, it hit somebody over there. Somebody, there was conviction on this side. Why they get to go first? They're not even part of the family. You know they already had, uh, and we don't even know if that's their real de- Okay. And you're getting frustrated about stuff. No more frustration talk. No more failure talk. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.